Hey everybody, my name is Swade, and welcome to my stream. I think it's going to be a good stream too, NBA. Actually, anytime I start in the middle of a game and I don't know what I'm doing in that game, I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be a good stream. But we'll, we'll pray that it's a good stream, I guess. I do have a backup plan in case this uh, runs into difficulties. I, I just think I'd, I might not have the patience to play on Sid. So I had the idea of like creating a difficulty level that's between Deity and Sid for me to play as uh, on stream and for videos just for uh, for fun with it still being challenging but being more doable. So yeah, um, this is where we are. We have to start tech. Like we had the great library, which is fantastic, but we actually have to start teching again now. Uh, we're gonna pre-build a wonder, I think, in in Rotterdam. Let's get some workers in here. I think we can join the workers. What's the second one doing? Joining Rotterdam, apparently. And. I'll do that for the growth. So Rotterdam actually has comparable production to Amsterdam now. So I make, it's good we're doing the wonder there. And we have a good pre-build because we can use Hero Epic or Palace. Oh, I had to like figure out the text trading situation, didn't I? Yeah, I just made peace. Uh, let's get that sorted, I guess. Uh, we could also do some... Oh, we're doing Settlers out of the Hog. That's good. We'll swing this guy around here. And let's, let's see what all the... Oh, we're not even at peace with the Rome. <laughs> we're not even at peace with anybody. Uh, why did we declare war on Rome? Well, if they'll make peace... Huh, we can get this random city. I don't know where this is. Uh, but Rome seems to have a bunch of dumb colonies. Oh, that's this. Oh, that's actually useful. I could actually lock this off. Hey, Carl. I'm actually not sure I like this because the Romans have these random units planted here. So they're just kind of units in my land and they'll have a, an incentive to declare war on me, which I don't want. Uh, four... So four mountains with no res there, and a hill and marsh. So there's actually decent odds of coal. I'm not sure he'd trade it to me if there was coal there. Even though we haven't unlocked the thing to, to see the coal. This is, uh, let's, let's do everything else first. So Egypt will just do a flat piece. And one gold, how profitable. Do I lose happiness off of that? I actually do. Well, oh, but, but at this point I have to make peace because this is the point where they can just start making military alliances and, and freaking crush me. I don't like making Japan stronger, but I guess I'm going to have to. Hey, Carl. Hey, heal cat 666. Yeah, Japan, like they took a city off of... The Mongols. I, th I thought this would be like this impassable barrier between the two civs that would stop that from happening, but I guess the Japanese got through. So they're, they're pretty big. A little scary, not gonna lie. I, I'd like them to be weak, but yeah. Well, I guess I might as well sell this. Do we still do save, save file magic? Yeah, absolutely. Like, if you send me a good one, I'll do it. Yeah. Uh, it has to be that sweet st spot, because... Eh, yeah, mostly it's just the issue is the people are sending me saves that are too easy. Uh, I, I think someone sent me saves that would be like unfun or like a pain in the ass. There was this one really, it was like chieftain on like this huge, huge map uh, where this guy just like never expanded. It was like the biggest size map and he was only playing against seven enemies. So even on chieftain, the AI took up the entire map and he had like eight cities. And each of the AI had like 70 cities or something like that. And he was like an era behind in tech. It's like... It's chieftain. I could probably do something with this, but dear God, do I not want to? Yeah, I'm looking forward to the stream too. 
Uh, but yeah, unless it's like something like that, it generally people don't send me saves that are too hard because normally other people give up on saves long before I do. Uh, just don't send me something that's too easy. If you're worried that it might be too easy for me, then just like play it out like 20 turns and make some more mistakes <laughs> and see where it goes. Oh my fucking... Okay, he actually... How does he have economic... Oh my god. Well, that's good I checked that. How many turns did I invest into actually doing economics? Zero? Was it zero? Wait, so he has astronomy economics. Astronomy navigation economics, huh? Arabia, Russia. Just astronomy. Yeah, okay, this is, this is gonna be, if he gets astronomy, he can just cause huge problems. So we gotta end, end this and take banking. And Korea is far behind. Uh, do you guys want to have one sec? I'll save what we have here. It was like stream and oh, what did I call this? Yeah, sure. Uh, this would be deep. Uh, so it'd be old computer, other people's saves. It was, it was, it was Korea. I think it was this one, actually. Okay, he 100% more ahead. Yeah. Look at this game. Oh my god. <laughs> so let's just reti let's retire this one. Oh yeah, he's playing like on like the worst like it's like dry 3 billion years old. So this is like a huge map, is it not? It's I think it's huge 70% water. So this, okay, as a reminder, this is Chieftain, right? So the AI grows half the speed that you do. Like, it takes them 40 turns to grow to size 2 instead of taking 20 turns. So he actually did, he did manage to keep up in that sense. But, oh, there's also two light blue sieves for some reason. That's a funny one. Yeah, look, it's, yeah, like 500... Yeah, it's currently 270 BC. And he's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I wouldn't be surprised if the save I was just playing as the Netherlands was like 270 BC. Would you do it? No, I, like, I, I'm just not good enough to win on Sid. Like, I can't win on Sid consistently. I, I need to find, like, either especially good land or, like, a, use bullshit gimmick tactics. Uh, even deity, a deity might be doable, but it would be it'd be difficult. Depending, it'd have to be, yeah. It'd have to be the kind of thing where it's like I don't know how to proceed. Like I think I'm in a decent position. So yeah. Not only did he like not colonize too much, he, he's way behind in cities. Uh, he didn't even bother trying to explore or colonize the islands. Yeah, like I, I, it was definitely very challenging. That's I was interested in doing this one, but I like I looked at the time. It's like yeah, like the the green stuff just starts conquering dark blue or light blue. That's eighteen fourteen, and like if you if you declare war in the green stuff, they're gonna have like a hundred cavalry or something. The AI moves slow on on chieftain difficulty, but they have the same propensity to do things, like propensity to stack units, etc. What do you keep doing well, Franco? Yeah, so it's like, how would you even begin to claw your way out of this hole? Like, you gotta use military. Oh, he's in, oh my god. He's in feudalism, and he's 23 units over the unit cap. Uh, and it's hard to be over the unit cap in feudalism, but if you are over the unit cap, it's really, really bad because you pay three gold per unit per turn. 
You can even get all the cities up here. That's ridiculous. Uh, yeah. So he's paying 69 per turn. Uh, he's he's maxed out in happiness buildings, I remember. He's he's still missing like some tile improvements, or he's using unworked tiles at least. I mean, this is why you don't you can you don't have to plant this far your, your cities this far apart because look at all these tiles you're not even using. Like you just cannot use these tiles because your cities are too far apart until you get hospitals. Yeah, it's it's 1814, and he still has he's using unworked tiles. Uh, he's using, looks like he's using specialists, and so is constricting his growth. Uh, he is building to happiness buildings, though. Oh, he's got the oracle, though. Yeah. Uh, you actually realized you might not play PTW. I don't play PTW right now. I have, like, I played it on release. Uh, I did play the expansions as they came out. Uh, I think that I'm interested in playing Civ 3 Vanilla again, but not PTW, really. That might be kind of fun, though, just play a game of uh, Vanilla Civ 3 on Deity difficulty, see what... Because uh, you can't abuse bombers, you can't abuse artillery. But the AI doesn't have as many ways to abuse you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so here's how the... He just does not know what government he's in. Um, unit support is 5 per town, 2 per city, 1 per metro. So when you get to size 7 from size 6, you lose effectively 9 gold per turn if you're over the unit cap, which you really shouldn't be because you should be able to just have a million little cities. Like, just plant some little cities over here, and it'll solve all your problems. 5 unit support per city. Even, uh, he put his city on top of the cow on the, oh my god. Yeah. So, like, if, if you get, like, an email, like, of someone sending you the save, like, where do you even begin to, like, fix, tell them how to fix their problems? Obviously the government thing, but, but it's mostly the map size, right? Because if he just, like, if he was, even if he was in republic and of feudalism or monarchy, he would still be in an awful position here. Let's, let's find the world map. Yeah, so like my my main advice when I see saves like this, and I get a lot of these saves. I actually got one the other day too. Wow, they're still not done expanding across everywhere. Um, yeah, my main advice is just don't play oversized maps because that's 100%. Like it, it's just so hard for human for new human players to play well on an oversized map. Uh, he, he's missing missing crucial resources because the rate of resource spawn does not actually change. Uh, it, the rate of resource spawn is based on number of players. It's not based on um, the size of the map. So he just has no iron because the iron, there's a mil million pieces of land. Oh my god, look what the Aztecs have to work with. <laughs> god. This is just Wonderland. And he has the, look at the, look at how awful this is. He's got no river. You guys, like, new players get screwed really hard by Badland. Uh, it's a little easier for me because I know how to play it, but yeah, uh, yeah. There's just like, huh? I've this is interesting. The statue of Zeus must must have got built really late. Has the statue of Zeus even been built in this game? There's no statue of Zeus. Well, he could actually go and take these cities and build the statue. <laughs> uh. I think it's already expired, so nobody can build it. But that's really hilarious. Yeah, sometimes on if you like make the map, map settings really weird, sometimes you can get like luxuries spawning on islands, but it doesn't normally do that. Normally, uh, the luxuries spawn the same places that the players spawn. I think that the game thinks that this is a big enough place to hold uh, a human, like it's a big enough island for a human to spawn here, but it won't actually spawn them there because the land is too awful. God, I could take talk about this game for ages. Yeah, like there's one iron here, so if he was smart, he'd he'd have gone for that iron. But 
Uh, new players aren't great with naval colonization. Anyway, I've been complaining about this game file enough. Let's complain about this other game file. Favorite map type? Uh, the most human favorite is Archipelago. I, I like the classic continents, Cameron. I feel it, like it, it offers a balance between naval gameplay and, and land gameplay. And the game is at its most balanced state on a continents map. Like seafaring is too strong on an archipelago map. Expansion is just too strong on a Pangaea. Pangaea. Um, and let's be honest, Civ or the Civilization franchise, relative to other Civilization franchises, Civ 3 is actually relatively well balanced, but it's not especially well balanced. And so any change you can make, like with the map settings to make it more balanced, is uh, it's something that I, I, I tend to prefer. Okay, where am I at? I'm up here. Okay, yeah, I think that was definitely a huge map, just looking. Okay, Rome. So, they, will they give us any tech? Well, can we just buy astronomy from them? They'll give us this garbage city, but even for 2,600 gold, they, they won't. Yeah, I felt that. I mean, the entire franchise, like... That's always been my main criticism, is like that's the direction that the series is heading in. I don't like leaning too hard on that criticism because the entire franchise was are always based out of gimmicks, right? Like wonders themselves are pretty gimmicky, but I feel like they're they're balanced and well they they're balanced and well thought thought, thought out, is most of them, in the early Civ games, uh, but they just kept on and Civ three itself actually did introduce a lot of. Uh, gimmick mechanics like the scientific great leader is, is kind of stupid uh, but for multiplayer you can turn it off so multiplayer is great for that and single player it's it, it's nice it's fun I guess uh, it's it's not a big deal yeah uh, and that's there's, there's that there's military great leaders I guess maybe arguably you could say are a gimmick and aside from that in the wonders is if three isn't too bad uh, the government system in Civ 3 is actually like, it's got a lot of depth and it's not very gimmicky at all. Like you don't get like magical superpowers being in any government. So I, I like that. Anyway, I'm not paying 3000 gold for, for astronomy. I'll just grab his shit city. But it's like, how do I get him out? Right? Um, it's on a hill. That actually might be doable to defend. Yeah, let's let's. I think I can handle a war with him. Let's grab Santa. Did we just? No, we didn't get his worker. Red and orange are kind of similar colors, at least in this grimy worker uniform. Okay, we'll do temples. This actually might flip anyway. But whatever. Yeah, now you're thinking in Civ 4 logic NBA. God, what a gimmicky franchise. Okay, we're at peace with everybody. Oh, we have to figure out what to tech. So ever they have astronomy and economics. We could do music theory. I don't know how are we gonna be super hard up for happiness? It's a good wonder. It's a nice wonder to have. Uh, it's arguably a trading tech too. If we do, I think if we do guns chem, then we can trade for Astro and Rush Newtons. That's probably the more responsible play. Because if someone else gets music theory, we are 100% wasting our time doing it. Yeah, we'll do guns. We were really relying on that war happiness, weren't we? Okay, that's not actually so bad. Wow. 
Wow. I didn't realize what a big deal that was. Do we have no Lux? No, we have Ivory. Come on. Uh, can we trade for Lux? We sh we have a harbor, right? Do we have no? Oh, yeah, we have a harbor. Here's China. Why can't we? Tr huh. Harbor to harbor. C, C. All this is C. Maybe because I don't have Astro. Anyway. Uh, I think we have to see. Oh, my God. We were really being carried by that war happiness, actually. That's broken. Yeah, I didn't realize this, but 100% war happiness is fucking bro. 100 war happiness was giving us the, the equivalent of, well, let's see what it was. 60 gold per turn. Because everybody was at war with us. That's absurd. Okay, let's see if this helps at all. Gunpowder and 24. Okay, nice. We got shaved uh, two turns off. We're in Republic. Uh, why are we so broken? Oh, we're paying 74. Okay. We can, we can fix this. I don't even think we're going to invest in this city. Yeah, just let it die. Belgian waffles? Don't let the, the Dutch hear you saying that. Might still be a little regional rivalry going on. Who knows? Uh, we could block off our coast. Honestly, I'm not really feeling this game, guys. Huh. This is a hard win. Like, we're teching painfully slow. Uh, we, we don't have... We're behind in tech by a little bit. We got, like, a massive amount of gold save up, but we can't do much if they start attacking us. Uh, let me think... Maybe that's my problem on Sid. I just give up too easy. Maybe the game's in a good position. Yeah, what did you catch live, Fairly? Ask the Romans to leave. The problem is I'm, I'm in Republic now, right? So I can't afford to be in, like, endless wars. I mean, my city's empty. They're going to attack me soon enough. Start making the AI fight each other. You're going to love the next part of my... Uh, <laughs> my, uh, my wonder challenge, then. Everybody hated you because your constant wars? Um... I mean, if you're offering, like, 20-turn deals to them and then you end up at war with them, then they're going to hate you because you broke those deals. Man, maybe I did need music theory. Uh, not really, Aaron. Uh, like, like, what city? Amsterdam's doing fine. I already has that, right? Uh, more, we really need you to grow the cities, right? Um... I guess there should be an aqueduct. Uh, like it's a, it's a long-term goal, but it, it takes a while. Yeah, like our, our big problem is our cities are getting capped in growth because of happiness.
So we're still 50 per turn in unit costs. Uh, where are all my warriors? Yeah, like you see, like even like this, right? Because of the corruption here. Wow, this is actually 100% corrupted. Or 90% that's max corruption. Uh, so trying to grow the city won't do me much good. 50 bombers late. 50 bombers doesn't work. on. You need a lot more than that. It's just... God. Hold up. I'll show you guys my biz game. Hey, Bailey. Hurrying some buildings and relying less on tools like this. Okay, well, that's a thought. Okay. Um... Most of my coastal cities are, like, the core cities are, like, Utrecht and the Hague and Rotterdam in, in terms of cities that have decent commerce. Uh, buying aqueducts would help with the unit support situation. Uh, yeah, like, even, even, but this is, like, still pretty slow. It's eight, 18 turns. Like, that's, like, doable, but um, I guess I could just wait until I can trade locks. Uh, I could buy markets everywhere, but which would be good for happiness. But it would be painful for everything else. Okay, I think this is actually doable. Yeah. Oh, I still have no iron too. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Okay, so let's in invest in some buildings. We'll do library here. And get that out soon. Uh, Middleburg needs a, an aqueduct. Also needs a temple. Yeah, we'll do the temple first. We need the border expand and we need the happiness. So this is a rare case where the temple is a good play. I guess it's not super rare, but. Uh, looks like you'll be fine. Securing Copernicus's for the... I, I can't. Like, look, they've, they've had... they have, I don't have astronomy. They do have astronomy. Uh, and it's said, like, if, if you reach the tech at the same time and you don't have, like, a good pre-build... Uh, and Rob Rotterdam's, like, a... The pre-build in Rotterdam's not ready yet. I could just, like, buy Copernicus's, right? Uh, or I could buy astronomy... But the pre-build's not ready. Now, if I wait 20 turns and then, let's say, I fin like if I do music theory in 21 turns, then the pre-build will be coming along and I'll have enough shields that I can probably get GS box. Uh, but at the current moment, like since they already have astronomy, they're 100% going to beat me to it. Uh, I was hoping for Newtons, but it's like I'm teching so slow that like at this rate I'm going to be falling behind in tech. Ah, uh, yeah. I think the city would benefit a lot from a courthouse. We can't irrigate here, so this is limited. Uh, 18, it's not even 18 turns, it's 24 turns. 18 is like, yeah. I could do this plus some entertainers, but then I'm like, my, my pre-build goes down the tubes. Uh, I run into a lot of issues. Let's, yeah, a little bit of that. If I'm going to be disbanding this shit, I might as well do it now. Horseman, good. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, we're waking up bright and early, huh? Okay, I better give this an, a good college try then. Uh, any iron? I, I can't trade with anyone at the moment. Uh, I don't really need iron. Like, what would I do with iron? Like, you have to understand, like, conquering islands on Sid is, is basically impossible. You, you pretty much need, like, a, a 50 stack of artillery plus a, a bunch of defensive units. <laughs> yeah, the Netherlands not really that way either. Yeah.
Okay. Um, Cortez. Yeah, we got three shields now. Okay, this uh, should be good. Okay, let's see where this takes us. Oh, there's an ancient, ancient cave in the galley. Are we replanting any of these cities? Um, I think these are actually, mo we lose the, oh. I guess we could replant this and then get the, the settler. Uh, get the lake, I guess, I don't know. Let's get rid of, we'll get rid of some workers too. Uh, we're not done all our worker moves, but we're not like in a hurry to do the worker moves that we have left. Hold on, that fish is wasted. Which fish? Yeah, this one. I didn't plant these cities, man. These are both Roman cities. <laughs> this is an example of awful city planting. Don't don't take this to heart. I'm like considering like how could I like I I got one settler right. I how could I make this the least fucked up? I could put this here, I guess. Oh, that'd lose me the grassland though. This here would be decent. Yeah, I'll, I'll go worker and then disband next to the tundra lake. Uh, we'll see. I should actually probably put them pretty dense. You know what? I'll put them dense on the island. Yeah, I'll just put one right in the middle. Uh, we still lose these two tiles, but whatever. And and this. And this. <laughs> we lose a lot. Okay, our financial situation is marginally improving. It does look so cold. It's like an ice fishing hole <laughs> in the middle of the tundra. Okay, we'll grab this. This is expensive. So is I don't know how much do we get? We're getting like uh, thirty at seventy percent. So it's worth fifteen gold, and it costs six hundred forty-four. Hmm. That's the way it is, isn't it, folks? Oh, that's that's an improvement. Hmm. Best way. Oh, wait. Sorry, Bailey. Are you just waking up now, or are you just going to bed? That is like a a very important difference in the tone of the stream, and I should probably adjust my presence accordingly. Yeah, look, they already, they already got smiths, right? And smiths is a more expensive wonder. They might just straight up already have Copernicuses. They're doing backs. Okay, good thing I didn't go for box. Or box. <laughs> yeah, they, they have Copernicuses already. Yeah, on this level, the AI will 100% demolish you if you try to race into any tech. Let's. So we're gonna flex this wheat tile just so Gronin Greninjin can can grow a bit. Uh, 
Ah, I should probably be a chop. I don't really care. Uh, unless there's, yeah, at this phase, the, the other civs will just meet. Is the I'll get con somehow, so should be fine. Yeah, let's just go all out. Okay, so our unit costs are down to 28 per turn. That, that's more reasonable. Uh, we're going to get Hallward, Hallward, Middleburg, and the Hog up. Uh, so I'll get a 6 plus Arnhem eventually. <laughs> it's, just, it's such a silly pronunciation that I... Oh, okay, nice. It's size 7. That's the important part, though. A size seven, so we get the uh, uh, the extra unit supports. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess I just like I have trouble playing from behind if I don't have a, like a very specific win condition in mind. It's like what am I working towards now, right? It's not like if I'm like gearing up for some big military attack, or trying for the great library, or um. Going for a diplomatic or a one city or a hundred k culture victory, that's okay. But as soon as I'm playing from behind, it's like I, I'm I'm just kind of winging it right now. I don't know where this is going. Uh, then it becomes kind of scary. Oh my god, it fucking starved down. Jesus. You know what? Get in there. Aha, that should help a bit. Nice. Oh, look at this city. It's going to be a nice little useless city. Iroquois instead of Iroquois. Yeah, sometimes people like come into the comments being like, actually, it's pronounced Iroquois, not Iroquois. And it's like, no, 100% no, no. Uh, it, it, might it might vary regionally, and there might even be like Iroquois people who pronounce it that way. But I mean, I'm from Ontario. That's how they taught us in school. I've, I've met people who are Iroquois. They say Iroquois. Uh, so Iroquois is the French waves. Like, it, it's Iroquois is just not like a, a Native American word. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a French word, right? So the correct pronunciation would be the French pronunciation. So, O I in French is pronounced quoi. Uh, if you want to say like it in the Iroquois language, you'd say Haudenosaunee or something like that. That's the, the like the the Iroquois name for the Iroquois people, or the Haudenosaunee name for the Haudenosaunee people. Ilanois, Ilanois. Yeah, I, I don't mind using the entertainer in, in garbage cities. Like, if the city's like already ninety percent corrupt, then <laughs> that sounds kind of actually like a a fun night. Though, not gonna lie, <laughs> if I had that kind of fever dream, I'd be like waking up in the morning, being like, "Ooh, I need to have myself another night night like that." I actually do have three surplus food in a lot of these cities because of the, the egg bonus. So I can grow these up to size 7 without it taking too long. Illinois is... What is... Is the... Instead of Illinois? <laughs> I'd believe that, yeah. Or are you just bullshitting me based on the rule I, I stated? I mean, it might have been very well. So I lived in uh, the city of Winnipeg for a while. And in Winnipeg, there's a city called, or a street called, here, I'll write it down. So I'm from, from Eastern Canada. So there's a bigger French influence in the part of the, like in the present day, not just historically. 
uh, there's a bigger French influence in the part of Canada where I live. And so when I, I see the name of the street, I see Portage. Of course it's Portage, because that's how you say, it, it's a French word, Portage. It means like you get out of your canoe and you like uh, walk your canoe over land. <laughs> uh, but they actually say it Portage in Winnipeg and people like give me weird looks if I call it Portage. Oops, this was a mistake. That's close. Funny how they, they got like GS box, but they don't have Leos. Hmm. Oh no, Nestor. Chicago. <laughs> Portage. Yeah, instead of portage. Not portag more not portag or portage. Those would be worse, I, I admit, but it, it's it's still portage. I think there's a city in Manitoba called Port. It's like Portage La Prairie. God, I can't do the road car. I can't do it with the P. Anyway, Portage La Prairie. Uh, <laughs> and I think they even call it Portage La Prairie, which is just, oh my God. I, like, it's their city, right? They can call it what they want. Some weird people in Manitoba who named their city Flin Flon, so I guess we shouldn't judge, but... Why does this keep... Maybe you're right. Maybe the extra comp... Yeah, so this is the only way to make it not miserably unhappy. God, this is brutal. You just need luxuries in this game. Cities planted on a cow should give you plus three unhappiness, just so people would actually frickin' notice what they're doing wrong. Uh, do you have more single player wins? Oh, multiplayer wins 100%. Like, let me look at this. Look at the... I mean, first of all, when I play when I play single player just for fun, I, I just don't close out my games that often. Uh, like, I'll get like three quarters of the way there and I'll give up. I've been getting into the habit of getting... I'm getting better at closing them out because of the multiplayer channel. Or, sorry, because of the, my, my YouTube channel and, and you guys like me to close them out. But historically, I probably didn't close them out that much. So, so ten, 11 wins in QC. 28 wins in Future. 39 in MPT and 61. So that's like about 130 within the past year. I don't think I've even played that many single player games at all, let alone one of them. So, And this is just like a drop in the bucket compared to what I used to play. Portuguese is better than my French. It is, yes, absolutely. Prairie. Prairie, Huh. Uh, sorry, what language do you speak, Heal? Okay, let's do an attack check, because probably should be doing this every turn, but... Okay, they have guns now. <laughs> I'm just... Picturing them like going to the diplomacy with them and see they're just pulls out a clock like. <laughs> Think real carefully about your next trade move. Ah, uh, he's got printing while wow, the Arabs are just rocketing ahead. Ah, so Japan is lacking communication with a lot of the advanced civs. You know, I think this might be my my best shot at getting a good world map, so. And this is actually quite useful information. Because I can trade this to other people. So it's just 150 gold, basically. Okay. Uh, so he has contact with the Hittites, but not the Zulu. I'm surprised they haven't killed each other. Normally they kill each other in this position. 
Uh, I, I'm not surprised, though, that they're really not advanced here in terms of economy. It looks like they do have, like, a lake down here. How are they irrigating, actually? There must be, like, a one-tile lake or a river here. Ah, here it is. But yeah, they clearly haven't been generous enough to enough to chain it up to the Hittites, so the Hittites are struggling. Oh, fuck this. I want to play on the Arab start. Holy shit, dude. Okay, that's only just... I'm pretty sure if I was playing as the Arabs and I looked at my start, I'd be pretty jealous. But look at all his land. And two Lux. Yeah, this is way better. I don't know how I'm going to beat that. <laughs> Random fortresses on the choke points. I love how the AI just does that. Okay. Uh, I do have contact with Korea. They got this too. How do they not have this stuff colonized, but they, they do have the border expand? I guess the temple for them is like, it's what, 30 shields? 40% of 30 shields? Uh, so it's like 12 shields. Yeah, and they have this island. They got a city down here. Just casually rocking this, huh? I thought this was like a bunch of... I, I guess it wouldn't matter if it was a bunch of islands because God knows the Arabs would have not play on that either way. So I guess this is why I was kind of behind in tech because I didn't I didn't like just sail north and find the Arabs. I found everybody except the Arabs. And I thought I was in good shape, but I was not. Okay, uh, Rome, do you have... Nope. Cacadilla heel. Cacadilla. What is heel? Horo so sho. Spasibol. There's no iron here. Yeah, I, I, I think this is. I'm not good enough to. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, what's the play? I, I, I think other people would say that you go... Artillery and you just build a doom stack and try to, like, conquer Korea or something. That'd get me iron. Uh, at least there's, like, a bunch of behind, like technologically non-advanced AI that I'm behind that I can continue to trade with. I'm not, I'm not having the issue that I was having on Pangea. Yeah, okay. We're... Nasty war to get four men. I, but the issue is if like they start landing calves on me, what do I do? Like, a galleon full of calves will just like wipe me out. I have to guard the island too. Yeah, it's just too difficult. Uh, I, I can't speak Russian, Heal, but I, I know how to... I, I used to know how to pronounce the alphabet. I find it's like, if you guys want like to learn like a fun skill that takes like probably an hour tops, uh, but as long as you continue to practice it, like, you'll, you'll, you'll keep it. Uh, learn the Russian alphabet. It's it's pretty fun. Uh, so if, like you see like someone like like often like like the name of a person's like, oh, that's just Maria. It's, it's actually pretty, or uh, Anya. Pretty easy to pronounce Russian names if you... And people are impressed by it. Anyway, yeah, sorry, I, guys, I'm I'm just not good enough to do this kind of Sid game. I think if I had like a land border and like a clear military victory condition, it'd be sim simpler. But yeah. But so the issue, my jet, is the the AI really I can't stress enough they really 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 suck at naval invasions. So, uh, is that like kanji? That's yeah, not too bad, uh, but a lot of stuff's not written, written in kanji. Uh, so the AI is just probably sitting on 200 units. Like, why do you think I'm ahead of the Hittites? Like, they've got bad land, but the issue is they have like 120 units. Uh, and so they're paying like a ridiculous amount of unit support. Yeah, weak to the Hittites. 
you name a civ on the map and I'm going to be weak to them. So, if, if you, there's like 15 units in Seoul, there's probably 10 in Pusan, 10 in Pyongyang. You really, you like, it's, you have to be very, very meticulous if you're going to try to land them. And the AI really sucks at it. So if I like ally with Russia against the Koreans, that doesn't really do me much good because the Russians really suck at naval landings and they're just going to get killed as soon as they land. Uh, so there's not much I could do. I could maybe do that with like, I guess, like China versus America. I think that'd be the way to go, actually. Um, get to steam power. Uh, stack a billion Swiss mercs and a billion artillery and try to shake China city by city with a, a war with the Americans. But yeah, I, 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 I'm not good enough at this and I don't have the patience to do it. I'm sorry. Let's do something cool instead. So what we're going to do... I don't know how much mileage we're going to get out of this, but we'll try it. So we're going to call it special difficulty. So the difference between special difficulty and the base game is just going to be, there's going to be a, a new special difficulty between, between Deity and Sid. So I'm going to be able to play Sid without playing on Sid. Like, get a, a sit is too hard i find deity if i want like something very very difficult deity is too easy like even on deity i like i catch myself not wanting to do the great library because it's too cheesy things like that so uh present percentage of optimal cities okay so uh well, we're gonna we're gonna change deity and not change sid the reason for that is there's some stuff that's hard coded in like um hut results so you can't get text from a hut on sid or settlers or cities so if we do dating and we can get text and huts from sids that kind of stuff uh i think that's i don't i don't abuse that kind of stuff so I, I think it's uh it's fun to do yeah more think of don't think of it as a buffed civ, nerfed civ think of it as like a, a more challenging deity we're gonna call it sway difficulty because i'm not good enough for sid i'm Finally going to admit it. I got better, but I'm still not good enough. Not enough to do it on stream, at least. The challenge where you plant cities in enemy land. Oh my god, I lost that. I had a good save file for that, but yeah. Uh, golden Age plan for... Oh, I, st I still have my Golden Age here, right? So if I do an Ag Wonder, so I was thinking in the past I'd been thinking if I did Hoover Dam, it would give me my Golden Age. Might be good timing. Anyway. Uh, so uh, this will be 10, I guess. Five. Oh, do they get two settlers or one? Hmm, what do you guys think? pretty hard to put a halfway between two and one <laughs> uh we can give them two yeah let's let's make this hard we'll leave the transition time at two though Yeah, cost factor is the big one. That's like, it determines the price of text, the price of buildings and stuff, and uh, price of growth even. They grow faster than you do. 200, we'll put this, yeah, 185. Uh, is the same, is the same. I guess this is 55. Okay, yeah, there's my suede difficulty. This is still gonna be really, really hard. Hey, I'm on. Uh, making a special, yeah.
Perfect. Okay, let's go. What do, what do you guys want to see me play? So this is with the two settlers they start with. This is still going to be really hard. But I think I've got a, a little wiggle room now. Uh, so I'll choose a good sieve. What's a good sieve? Let's do Pangea. <laughs> it does not am on. Yeah, that's a mistake you can make at all difficulty levels if you so desire. Oh, no, we, we can't do that. Uh, we have to do this. So, sub content, new special difficulty. What do we call it? Special difficulty. Okay, so just a standard Pangea map. We'll turn on barbs for once. This shit can be random, who cares? Uh, this and suede difficulty. Look at that, look how nice that is. So yeah, we won't like, we'll choose what we're playing as, but we're not going to choose who we're playing against. Uh, the AI actually gets a 50% shield bonus if they want Courthouse in their cap. Because there's a, f oh no, it's, wait, sorry, they get a 100% shield bonus. Because uh, there's a 50% cost, cost ratio for them. Uh, what have we not played in a while? China. Let's do China. Let's do some fighting. Yeah, it's not fighting land right there. <laughs> what the fuck? It's kind of funny. I, I'm going to look around. Huh. Uh, I guess this must be a cold map. I, I, I do like the triple deers, but they're going to be kind of useless. I mean, first of all, until we switch out of despotism, but also until we get engineering to, to plant the forest there. Yeah. So I don't like that so much. That's good. This is a deity, I'd do that, but this is substantially harder than deity. I'm still, this is, I'm guaranteeing this is still going to put me on my ass with how hard it is. Huh, yeah, there's like a cow in your bed. No, no cows at all. God, I'm trying to, I'm getting flashbacks from the time I did always war, or tried to do always war on Demigod. Those never saw the light of the day in my channel because God, that was such a shit show. Okay. We got a cow, got a hut, two bonus grasslands. I, I should probably I should do this before, but like I should move the worker just to scout around, but and this looks pretty damn good. So what are we attacking? Uh Alpha Min? This is a medium sized map, so it's feasible we'll get off a bit faster. We start with masonry. We could go for math, maybe. Yeah, I'll settle for one cow here. Oh, maybe I, sh I should have... Sorry, I actually should have irrigated this. That was not the correct play. Uh, because I've got a bunch of forests, so if I, if I need more... And I'm not egg. So if I need more production, I can just do do that. But if I want food, it's more flexible this way, and it's faster, too. Oh, hey. I like this already. Okay, 
Let's get a settler out. Oh, uh, why are there barbarians spawning? Oh, of course, it's it's civ difficulty. Uh, of course, I meet the one civ who already oh, already has masonry. Dear God. Wow, you weren't kidding about those triple cows, were you? Why is? Hold up. Unacceptable lack of micro there. Why is why this shit turned on? It's from looking at your save files. It's your fault. Ah. This is really good land. So three. Yeah, so what we got five. Five, five, five. If the mines plant those cows before I get there, geez, so help me God. So if I actually just walked one towel over, I could have got a triple cow cap, but... Hey, do you have masonry? You don't have masonry yet. Oh boy, okay, we got one thing. We got one thing, guys. Better use it well. He has everything. Okay. Uh, I can go pottery. Uh, I think that's the right call. They don't. None of them have alphabet. Interestingly. Okay. Uh, forty-four gold. Yeah, that's quite a bit to work with too. And I have the the option at least. So the one thing here is I could go for like a a settler, not a settler. Sorry, a, a wonder factory. Let's pop hot. Let's pop this. Uh, pop barbs on the mines. <laughs> that seems like a good hobby for us. Uh, so we just do the settler right now, and then yeah, okay. What are we doing with this though? I guess this could be our military city. Ah, I think I see what we're doing. Okay. I don't know if this will work, but yeah, he's got fucking everyone just flying over top of me. Ridiculous. Okay, so we popped some barbs on him. That's fun. Uh, so because we oh, he'll attack into us if we do that. Because we have three cows, we're actually going to go for. Um, Mining here because we don't need any bonus food. And we do that, I think, Just straight for settler. Ah, uh, no, we can squeeze squeeze a warrior in there. Do I like Civ Six? To be honest, I haven't played Six Six. Um. With Civ Five, I wasn't really happy with the direction the franchise was moving in, and nothing I've seen from like gameplay footage has inspired me to check it out. But because I haven't played, I, I can't really accurately judge it. Wow, mine's choosing some awful city plants. Thank God for them. I think I'm gonna have this area well, mostly to myself and definitely up here this would be a good forward plant I think uh, I think I need to grab the warrior here actually nice warrior too that's a good good little timing window yeah because there might be barbs when I send the settler So 
Spiffing Brit. Spiffing Brit does good, good work with everything, though. <laughs> I like when they prove how stupid the mechanics in the game are. Where are the Dutch? They came over top here. Maybe they're over here, but yeah. Okay, by this point, everybody surely has alphabet. You're not going to come kill me, are you? You're just killing barbs, I hope. Civ 3 and Civ 4? Yeah. Uh, Sid Meier's not part of it. Sid Meier wasn't even involved with Civ 3. So I don't give him the blame. Oh, they, they planted my city spot. That's way difficulty for you. You know what? I'll get that back. Okay, let's pop some more barbs. I might just lose my scout at this point. <laughs> yeah, so if, in case it's not... I use the scenario editor to make a difficulty halfway between Sid and... Uh, and Dady for my because I'm Goldilocks and Sid is too hard and Dady's not hard enough. I should just be playing on Dady. What am I doing? Anyway. This city might be garbage. I don't know what it, where it's really heading to, but I could put one on the gold actually. Weirdly, I think the barracks is justified here too because it's gonna have crazy production. In, I'm getting a lot of uh, a lot of returns out of being industrious this game. I'll say that. Ugh. I don't know what to fucking do. Okay, I guess we'll plant this. Please tell me there's no jeep. Okay. Thank God I got them hunting barbs for me. That city would be fucked otherwise. Uh, I could plant here, but I, I don't want to risk the Mayans snatching the city up. So, Oh, I can actually flex the cows this way. That was smart. Okay, we'll do math, I guess. Okay, everybody has alphabet, everybody and their dog, unless the Mayans don't. Uh, you started with alphabet. I don't know why I'm even calling you. Yeah, you do. You're missing some stuff, though. Uh, can maybe... Tr let's try this. Remind me to turn up the happiness slider again. They have writing. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me harder. Mm. Guess we're doing math then. 32 turns. Yeah, we can work with that. Okay, it looks like we're running out of stuff to scout here. Yeah. Oh, God, the Japanese have so much room to expand, and I got these assholes right here. I see how it is. I hope he likes archers to the face. Uh, if I do this, the horsemen are just going to kill me, so I might as well just pop the hut. Yeah. Uh, 
Let's get the, yeah, we'll get the city before anyone starts contesting. I don't want to lose that. I don't want to have to fight for that. He didn't put Legarato on the hill, interestingly. Boxed in suede. I eh, got some land. It's, this is pretty fine. It's good the Japanese seem to have a few different directions to expand to, so they're less likely to expand here. Really, the mines are being the assholes. As long as I get this... Like, the mines can have this desert here. I don't mind so much. The one fun thing about industrious civs is you can go, like, a pretty long while without building a second worker. <laughs> And um, yeah, it's fine, I guess. Yeah, we'll grab one in Nanking and uh, I think we actually want to put the city here just to get yeah, get that reserved for ourselves. Sure. Okay, nice. We're on the front lines. I don't know what he, where he's going. Yeah, he'll probably... Oh, huh. That's a pain. It'd be nice to have this. Yeah, the issue is if you don't build enough workers, eventually you don't have any roads. So you build your settlers earlier, sure, but your settlers take like three extra turns to get where they're going. So Yeah, luxuries are, are bad here, I'll say. Uh, we'll maybe get this incense. Otherwise, it looks like we don't we have fuck all unless there's something in the corner here. My favorite food right now. Uh, there's actually avocados on sale the other day. Uh, it was two fifty for a bag of five, which is pretty cheap here in Canada. And I added them to my my pita wraps. I've been making a lot of pita wraps on the suggestion of the official pita appreciator clan, the OPA. Uh, it's a clan in our multiplayer Discord. If anyone wants to join the multiplayer Discord, by the way, and join the OPA clan, uh, it's like new new player friendly. Um, then definitely join the or join the Discord, and the link is in the description of this stream. Uh, so yeah, Pete is specifically with avocados lately. Okay, here's another worker. And now we're just going to stack archers. It'd be nice if we had iron working, but I think we just need to take a few cities with a, a thorny little archer rush. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're just gonna have to pray there's no AI. <laughs> no. What was it called there? I'd like to expand Northwest, but uh, it's not gonna be like hotly contested at least. Okay, I guess that, that's our win condition. See, this is why I like playing on lower difficulty, like not quite as high difficulty lo levels. So our, our victory condition is capture the pyramids. Didn't they send their settler? They're like, they going for some iron or something. Okay, the Dutch have map making. Yeah, this is this is still basically said difficulty. It's just like 10% toned down. Let's, uh, this is a good engagement for us. Nice.
Nice good defensive city spot. Oh, this is actually fantastic. This like blocks off a lot of land. Summarize what the difficulty settings are in Suede. Uh, yeah, it's just halfway between, um, halfway between Deity and Sid. I'll write this down. Uh, I'll put it in the description, I guess. Uh, But crucially, they do start with two settlers. So it's probably a little closer to Sid than it is to Deity, uh, just based on that alone. God, I think I need to... to uh, he's... Eh, it's actually... We, more, we're more likely to win here, but... What the fuck? I'm not even that mad because we can clean that up, but why would you do that, man? Okay, whatever. Uh, hmm. So this is a border expand. So I guess that's the nice thing about the high difficulty levels that you get the city no matter what. Uh, that's actually a good city spot. Uh, like we'll put one here. We'll put one here, I guess. And we we need we just need something within range of the yeah. We'll, we'll grab that now. And we'll put one northwest. I think that the Dutch actually might be expanding northwest at this point, which is kind of terrifying. Hope he dies to barbs or something, but... Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, fuck off. Jesus. Uh, we got math of in four, so we can... We probably want bronze working, if nothing else. I, there should be, like, at least one sieve that doesn't have math. Oh my god, I did it again. Oh nice, that's a lot of bonus grassland. Okay. And then we'll take whatever the Dutch don't plant, and that's pretty good. And then we get this... Yeah, if we can beat the mines there, that's pretty good too. Okay. Ish. Sure. Hey, Francisco, uh, if it's not too annoying for you, is it possible you to comment a tad more often are your chosen moves in the game? Since you're a pro, it's hard to follow, like, exa like. okay, yeah, for sure. Uh, are you talking about, like, worker moves or, or city placement? Yeah, I suppose some things, like, I just sent this warrior over and say why. So I'm sending it over for military police, just so that the city can produce archers pretty quickly. The city has more commerce, so it's easier to use the happiness slider to, to fix its happiness. Like this. Oh, Jesus. Wow, they really blocked me in a few different ways here. Okay, we'll see what happens to him. I, I can just put the city here, I guess. Yeah, so I'll send... I, I just need the incense here. All of this stuff is superfluous. Like, it'd be, it'd be nice to get it, but I, I, I'd rather take these cities from the Mayans, and I need to start building military if I'm going to do that. Uh, yeah, we could put this here. Yeah, we'll do one more settler, I guess. Okay. Jesus, they love that beeline, don't they? Eh, it's just two warriors. Okay, uh, and we get math next turn. Oh, 
Yeah, so we do a little bit of micro here just to save some gold. Yeah, thank you for reminding me, Francisco. Um, I, I worry about repeating myself too much, but if it helps, if like if there's people who need it, then I absolutely would would love to do it. <laughs> but my pride. <laughs> Classic. Okay, let's see what we can get. Hey, Canna Cherry. Oh, we can actually probably nab 25 gold here. Although the, the mines might pose, like, they can come at us from that angle, I guess. We'll see. Anyway, let's see if we can get anything for math. They have math. They have math. They have math, and of course, yeah, math, yeah. Okay, we get nothing. Okay, good thing. Yeah, that's why it's so, playing as like a, a sieve with alphabet is, is so good on high difficulty levels, just because it's like the guaranteed, it's like guaranteed free tech. So we have math. I, I guess we just need to do bronze working, iron working. Uh, this is gonna be a hard war to fight without without those two techs. Yeah, the horseman will attack into me here. I think that's decent for me. Okay, I'm gonna. I'd, I'd rather plant on the river, but I'm gonna plant off river just to pop the hut, and because that if I pop plant here, they might plant here, here, or here because it's three away. But if I plant here, they won't. Uh, so this is the easiest access to Largaderto. TOA, Hang Gardens. Ah, uh, mine's got another wonder. That's good. Okay. This should be fine. Oh, there's actually a horse. It might not be fine. I might lose a little gold, but I don't have that much gold to lose. It's strange hearing you not talking at two times speed. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you for subscribing, Kana. Uh, yeah. <laughs> God. So the, the the funny thing is, like, they'll demand, like, texts that are worth, like, 10,000 gold, but they're pretty reasonable with their demands for gold, right? They'll, they'll demand, like, 100 gold when you have, like, 5,000 in your bank. Uh, so I, I don't mind giving gold ever, unless I'm, like, saving for something in particular. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, we actually listen to our viewers. I, I listen to myself too much, though, and I'm very opinionated about this game and how I should be streaming it and playing. <laughs> okay, um, so do I have any tips for how to not stay behind on text and demigods specifically? Um, so there is a bit of a gap. So by doing early exploring and tech trading, you can do pretty decent on demigod for the first little bit, and then there's the gap where they, they pull ahead. Um, and then you should be, once you come online with Republic, you should be able to like tech faster than them if you have like a good setup. By good setup, I mean like a few luxuries, so you're not using the happiness slider too much, and some good core cities with high commerce because of Republic. Like if you are if you have like half as many cities as them, of course you're not going to be able to keep up. Um, but yeah, so again, and, and make sure you're low on unit, you know, low on unit support costs. So try to do that. Like you can practice that this on high or on lower difficulty levels. Actually, practice getting like a really healthy republic economy, where you have all your worker moves done. You're not using temples and cathedrals. You're using luxury imports and and marketplaces, uh, for happiness. And see how that works for you. And then it's a little harder, obviously, because of the practicality and the risk of war on higher difficulty levels. But it, it's still fundamentally doable. Uh, alternatively, you could just use the Great Library. Uh, which is why I don't like using the Great Library, because it's a fucking cheat, but whatever. You change pretty often your city micromanagement, especially from tile to tile. It goes so fast. Yeah. Okay, I'll, it depends on the individual micromanagement piece, but I'll, I'll, I'll comment on that more often. Okay, yeah, I 100% need to fight. I don't have writing, though. Fuck me. Oh, but I do have an embassy with the Dutch. So I can just ally with the Dutch versus... 
the Mayans. I actually think I might not want the city because then that's just too much to protect against the the Mayans. We'll do some catapults or one catapult and then one worker, I guess. <laughs> Hasn't had my coffee yet. I I don't need coffee. <laughs> That's you know, I, I literally do not need coffee. It's this, this game is what gets me so energized, and so like that's why it makes such a big difference when I feel like like I'm not feeling the game because I don't have my source of energy. Okay, uh, settler going out. We'll just do this here, or maybe here. We'll bait them into planting this city. You know what, if we put this here, like either they, they plant the city or they don't plant any city. If they don't plant any city, that's fantastic. If they plant the city, it's good. I can cap it pretty easy. Yeah, exactly. God. So I'm going to have to put this on Twitter. My parents gave me like a folder full of my like my old like report cards and like stuff like that. And there's like a, a letter in it that my my brother and my mom had written me while I was away at summer camp. And in that letter, they actually referred to the, like, the room with the computers in it. I think my dad called it the playroom. They referred to it as the sieving room. <laughs> it's in cursive. I, I'm almost, like, 100% sure it says sieving, though. Like, it's definitely not dining, and nothing else makes any sense. Leafs and sends. Oh, my God, that's bound to be a disappointment for somebody. Uh, one city culture, absolutely sure, Majed. Uh, it'd be a, it'd be a good challenge, yeah. But if I pick the right land, uh, I find with one city culture, your traits don't make too much of it. Like your traits more matter for um, for dealing with. So basically, you there's two factors to one city culture. You need to like have your tech lead and like be building wonders consistently in your one city, and you also have to like not have the world be collapsing around you. Basically, so the traits that the uh, the Mongols and the Zulu get would be would be quite good for that second part. And the first part you can manage. Uh, yeah, I might have to persuade them by offering them, I don't know, 100 gold or something. A bunch of gold per turn. Drawing room? Uh, so is a, a room with, yeah, just where the, with like the video games and the computer. Uh, it was like a, a like a den, I guess you'd call it, maybe. You have never seen this game. You've never played Civilization three, so if you're into older strategy games, Civilization three is absolutely fantastic. So Civilization is like a, a classic turn based strategy franchise. It was very influential, and in my personal opinion, number three. I mean, just. Look at how the game appears on screen. Does this look visually appealing to you? I think it looks quite appealing to me. Just the way the borders work and the way the land is laid out. Um, and there's like a lot of depth to the game and there's a lot of it's a lot of fun. And I'll teach you history too. So there's lots of advantages to playing. Uh, so you have an interesting idea for a challenge, BTW. Okay, uh is it going to be the no coastal fortresses challenge? <laughs> yeah, I'm, we're getting to the point where the bigger the bigger problem with people suggesting challenge because a lot of my good challenges have been suggested by viewers, but I've, people suggest a lot of bad challenges too. Yeah, so Ken, I'm playing a very high difficulty right now, so we're going to get to see a war not too in the distant future, like in the next fifteen minutes maybe. Uh, and that might shape how you feel. Uh, so the combat in Civ it's not like Rome Total War or something like It's not very stylized. It's kind of just you throw your units in a blender and then just something happens and you win or you lose. Uh, but there's, it's, a lot, it's very tactical. Uh, but if you want like a, a strategy game with like a more intense combat simulator, it might not be the right game for you. By intense, I mean, like, where you have more control over the actual combat, I guess. Oh, yeah, it's like five bucks on Steam. If you're not, if you're in America, if you're in, like, Russia or Brazil, it's going to be even cheaper.
Okay, I'm probably going to want like a... You know what? I'll, I'll build the Spearman after. Huh, I can just kick him out of my land if I need to. Excuse me. Uh, how many archers do you guys think I need? So yeah, the easiest way to do this, I think, is just... I need to do this before he hits size 7. Um, I could have gone for currency, I guess. That might have paid off. Uh, it's not too late, but that, that won't be done for a while. Jesus, not king. Bombard only units? Huh. <laughs> Playing as Korea, no doubt. I mean, that's pretty... You can't take cities like that, so that's not fun. No ta <laughs> I really hope that's a god tier ship post, Bailey. <laughs> uh, sorry, I uh, made this one where it's supposed to have no corruption. Ah, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I remember he did have a no corruption mod. But it's interesting that they eventually give you corruption. Uh, I guess he just said it as low as possible, but it, it's still like as low as it is, you will eventually run into it. Okay. Oh, you've played four or five, but you haven't played three. Interesting. So when am I going to be ready for this war? Warrior only? Uh, that's just... I mean, you know I can win without fighting, right? Uh, so I don't really get, like, what's the new skill that's being tested? Uh, seems a lot like the, the playstyle I always use. I guess I'd be down. Uh, I've been kind of weaning away from, like, I think my most recent video was, like, kind of peak in terms of how interesting the game or the challenge was, the, the, the Wonder Challenge, and it, it didn't get that many views, so I'm, I'm probably... Moving away from long form uh, videos, and I'm going to switch more towards. Uh... Just playing through the game, I guess. Or, or sorry, just uh, like more clickbait content, I guess. <laughs> I'm sure everybody loves to hear that, but yeah. yeah my videos are fun. Like, one, one, one video I was thinking of doing was. Um... Uh, what was this? Oh yeah, like the, the dumbest ways you can die in Civ 3 multiplayer. I think that the multiplayer community would love this tribute, but also I think it would be a very entertaining people video for people who do not play multiplayer at all, because this is all new, new information for you. And you can laugh at our misfortunes. My capital again? I'm not at war with them. <laughs> you gotta just take some risks sometime. Lazappa going to be size 7. Jesus freaking Christ. That one's not going down. Okay, he's going to have pikes soon if I'm not careful. So Let's get this done. I'm, I'm, I'm not a or. He's not... If he does, let's... I'm pretty fucked anyway, so... Wow. Okay. <laughs> you guys see that? That was this has been phenomenal luck this game.
You could take cities and archers to have defensive bombard. They just be the stack guards and cities take or not attack. Yeah, uh, archers are good on defense, uh, but I, I'm going to need a couple spears at least. This is fine. This is terrifying. And uh, we can have a road up here. Okay, this is better, like... I'm feeling better about, like, our network of roads between our different cities right now. I think we pretty much have to take this one, otherwise we have uh, serious issues. Although, because, like, the war opened with the, the Dutch and the... Yeah, the Dutch aren't going to lose shit. Uh, because the war opened with the Dutch on... Like, the Dutch and the, the mines are at war for... It's not like... The way I normally do the war is I start the war and then I get the AI in on the same turn. But right now, they're, like, pathing all their units towards the Netherlands and towards the Zulu. And so, they, yeah, they should be more distracted at home. Wow, this city's pretty corrupt. That's better. How is that not any faster? Oh, I just lost it to corruption. Damn it. Oh no, a terrifying javelin throw around the horizon. <laughs> They're coming for me. Okay, I'll just... Oh, what's... Do I have unit support issues? No, I'm just fucking broke. Huh. Oh, what caused that happiness? Wait, I actually get a free declaration of war if I just try to kick him out. We'll wait one turn. Uh, so that gets me some war happiness, which will be actually a godsend. Yes, okay, he's still in my land and he's across the river. I think we're not going to get a better chance than this. Let's go. Okay, boys. I've never played this difficulty before in my life, so I, I don't really... Oh my god, what the, what the fuck is that? Okay, I think I know where we're sending the catapult then. <laughs> uh, okay. He's really just dead-ass defending with javelin throws. Okay, uh, we can do here. Don't say I'm not god. So uh, two warriors will do a worker in two turns, so we can just get both of this over here and clean that up. Okay. I really wish this was better defended, but... Oh my god, okay. So do we attack the warriors? I think we attack the warriors. Okay. It'd be nice to have one, what was it called in there for defense? We already have, so the Dutch are already at war and the Zulu are already at war too. So as long as they don't drag in Japan against me, this should be fine, all things considered. What the fuck? I'm a little concerned about that. Okay, so no veterans anymore. Nice. He's got fuck all. Mine. Uh, I'm going to cap that. This might flip back. I'm, I'm a little worried, but... The Japanese just cock, almost cock-blocked me really hard there. It's good I had the backup road. <laughs> Otherwise, I 100% would have lost that city. Ah, one turn away. Come on. Uh, 
You know, I, I can just recap this if it falls, I think. Yeah, I'll bait the workers over. Sorry, I missed a lot of this stuff. Um, had no resources? What the hell? <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Okay, um, so I think I... Oh my god, I have no ceremonial burial. Okay, I think I need to do repeat. I make peace with him as soon as possible. Get CB, and then... Wow, he'd really just be out here. Uh... Yeah, okay. So he attacked into me here. Please, God. Oh, this is fine, actually, either way, yeah. Because I, I could reinforce from here. Huh, they really planted three on the coast there. That's fine. Okay, we get iron working next turn. Let's see what uh, the game has in store with for us. Wow, he's really not attacking. Okay. We could catapult this. Yeah, that's good. I don't think we're going to take anything here. This is just like kind of a... We could actually pivot back towards... I think this one's going to... If we don't take this out, this one's going to flip. So... Ah, he actually took the workers. Damn him. Okay, so we a hundred, we just a hundred percent have a win condition. The win condition is kill the mines. Okay, so I think we'll do a quick piece when we get the chance. Uh, oh, we have iron. Thank God. Okay, this is completely workable. Hmm. We can actually raise this if we want. We can let them cap and then we can raise. Ah, two jab. Yeah, I don't like the position we're in. Uh, could put the warrior in. Okay, that should be a bit of a speed bump. We get no defense bonus because it's, uh, it's still in resistance. <laughs> it just looks like a strange spelling of Bailey. So I think the, the point still gets across. Yeah, now we we're down one archer. Uh, could bring. Unless he gets god RNG, then this should be fine. Let's do that. Yeah, this way the city won't. It could flip. It could still flip. That would be disastrous, but. Yeah. Oh, there's two of them, huh? Okay, he won two combats, yeah. But he just survived with one health. Okay, let's uh, roll the dice again. Nice, okay, we're doing good. Okay, we're just going to turn off tech entirely. And once we... Oh, we do need to consider that. Yeah, ideally we'd make... So the good thing about not having a military alliance is we're not locked at war. We can make peace whenever we want. I think we will want to make peace soon. Grab ceremonial burial at least.
Okay. Um, where am I going for? Oh my god, he planted on the fucking... Okay, that's getting raised. 100% getting raised. Do not plant cities on bonus food, people. I can't say that enough. You just lose the bonus food. Um, what good would that do me, Mitchad? Like, I, I want, I want the city. It's a really good city, and I need the pathway in the Chichinitsa eventually. How many archers do I have right now? Twelve. So if I like get my shit together, I could feasibly threaten this city, but I don't think it's very likely. I think I just want to make peace. Yeah, that's uh, really driving it home, huh? He actually, hmm. Jesus. And this went back. We'll want a few swords. Once we hook the iron, we can upgrade, like, two swordsmen, maybe? We're just 100% playing for, for Great Library, in case that wasn't clear. I mean, it's Great Library Pyramids. It's pretty good. But we'll get some, uh, we'll get some text in the peace deal. Nice. Okay, that'll, that'll go a long way. Okay, it's not flipping, so we're getting good luck here. Uh, we want actually we actually do want more catapults. And let's do this. Yeah, it's a good mix. Uh, we've got getting along. We have like th four different rivers in our land, so we're getting a lot of commerce. This is really good land in the lake. Oh my god, I just walked my worker <laughs> where he can hit me. Okay, so I guess we just pray that we can make peace next turn. Is that it? And Japan blocking us again. Like he is so inclined to do. <laughs> Gotta love that guy. Okay, this is a good road to have. Uh, oh, this actually can... Depending on where Japan walks, we can still make it to defend this. Yeah, we'll keep this outside of the city. I don't think catapults help put down war weariness. Or, or put down resistance. Uh, let's check my entertainer situation if there's anything like that. Okay, please tell me that was a retreat. Yeah, he looks like he retreated. Uh, this, oh, he's ancient calves. Yeah, I need to be very careful here. Okay, we, we can we can make a peace deal if we want to. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Please tell me. Okay, we can get text. That's all we need. And this is a marginal improvement. Yeah. Ha ha. Nah, damn. Well, maybe... Yeah, so just killing that one unit actually gives us ceremonial burial. Uh, we could also do tax. I, I think the... The gold is kind of important, but we do need ceremonial burial just for not getting f fucking smashed by... <laughs> uh, culture flips. So good. Okay. Nice. We picked up a city. Uh, we picked up a tech. And it didn't really cost us anything. So I'd say that was a good play. So we'll do temples here. 
So on this high difficulty level, they actually can flip these random cities from all the way from downtown. So we have to be careful. And here's our iron. Um, actually, I think we want to pillage this iron in a bit. So we'll do swordsman, swordsman. We get 22 gold per turn. That's, that's not a ton. Not like we can trade ceremonial burial to anybody. And so I've actually recently learned that the AI doesn't really, like, peace, it shows the peace deal as a 20 turn deal, but it, the AI doesn't actually punish you for breaking these deals. So if this flips, I'll just retake the city. That's, that's just how it is. Yeah, I didn't really see a path to victory. That wasn't impossibly... Cows are perfect. <laughs> that must be you, Bailey, I'm guessing. Uh, I'm just gonna have a look at what's in what the Mayan city looks like. See if it's size seven or not. The problem, yeah, like once he gets pikes, uh, I'm just I gotta pray he doesn't have iron or something. Okay, it looks like he'd need an aqueduct for that. He is in the medieval era though, so I didn't see any swords out of him though. So yeah. Okay. We'll we'll just buy the temple at some point. So sway difficulty, if, if it's halfway between Deity and Sid. So it's quite hard, but not stupidly hard. It's a little closer to Sid, though. Uh, did I not build a, uh, some veteran warriors? Uh, if I check by warrior, it's going to be in stupid cities. Here's one. Okay. Can chop a bit. That'll help. Yeah, once I have 20 shields in the box, I can uh, slave this. Because I got four citizens here. Done. Uh, I'm actually leaning towards doing this attack sooner rather than later. Yeah, so we'll, we'll finish this. We'll unhook the iron. We'll get a couple of, uh, what's it called, out? Oh, or do I want to go for these cities back here? That's uh, an interesting question. I need some way of roping everybody else into the war, I guess, but... Hmm. Yeah, so Deity is the difficulty where the Archer Rush doesn't really work the same way it does. On Demigod, if you get, like, a good Archer Rush, you can just wipe out, like, take their capital, everything. By good, I mean, like, assuming you're not, like, playing against Greece or something, or Carthage. Um, but it gets a little tricky. On, on Deity, you, you, you got to do it in phases, like, make peace, and then maybe some alliances in there. It's uh, it's a lot, a lot, a lot trickier. We're going to put the Spearman here, actually, because this is the city I think that they're... We just have to hold the line here, right? Fine. Yes, more dead Mayans. I'm, I'm happy about that. Let's get this good road. A good uh, central road right there.
Here's one question. If you would choose the best quick method to solve civil disorder in a city, happiness slider, yeah, it depends the best or the, the fastest. Obviously, happy like using an entertainer is fast, but um, if you it, it, the city just stops growing most in, in despotism, especially the city will just stop growing. Oh, we actually need this road going here, so let's let's get that done. one of those bad boys yeah still size six so it's so still totally capturable I might just grab walls here no if I, I grab walls then it'll be hard to recap Pyramids there? No, nah, pyramids are in his cap. I don't. I actually don't know where exactly where his cap is, but he's got the oracle in in Copan. I don't know where Copan is either. And saws. He's got five wonders actually. So why did I? Why? Why not? It's four food. This is this is four food one shield. This is three food two shields. So I just traded a a shield for a food. And irrigation is faster, so I finish more for work, more worker moves, and get basically gives me a free road. And if I need more shields, I can just switch from this to this, right? Bam. So it was faster, and it traded food for shield, but I can trade food for shield whenever I want. So it was faster. Was basically your answer. <laughs> uh, yeah, we want that. When is this done? Oh, three turns. Oh, my God. That's barely fast enough not to fix. <laughs> what? Did I hit explore? That button just keeps on finding new ways to mess with me. Nice. We got the border expand here. If they're not on a river, always irrigate. Uh, doesn't have anything to do. So, I mean, if you don't have fresh water, you just can't irrigate the cow. Ah, nice. This border expand gave me this bonus grassland finally. Um, yes, I actually can get 10 shields per turn. It's it's good to look for breakpoints like that. So I, I guess we want most of our army. Yeah, we'll keep like this little force over here to retake. And we can just kick him out again to get the declaration of war. <laughs> it's not an exploit because they, they keep on fucking doing it. <laughs> If they stop going through my land, they'll, they'll, I can't use that exploit at all. So, Your move, Mayans, your move. Ooh, we can swap back because we still have 10 per turn. 10 per turn is Spearman and 2. Okay, so I guess the Doomstack goes here. And the next turn we upgrade and then we're good to go. Okay. I 
I, I still cannot believe this hasn't flipped. It, it, by all logic, it really should have flipped by now. They, that's this. This is unmanageably good RNG. <laughs> this is this is like setting you guys up with false expectations as to what is possible in in Civ three because, God knows you're not going to get RNG that good most of the time. Anyway, we'll, we'll do some upgrades here. Sure, we'll do the regular warrior too. So we got a free war. We'll, we'll let them path through our, our land a bit. We're going to keep our catapults over here just because this is ugly. Do I like chocolate milk? Uh... I do. I like chocolate uh, oat milk. I have got, I use it for my smoothies a lot. Is RNG modded? No, you can't change the RNG. I mean, you can change the stats on units, I guess, but aside from that, you can't really. Oh, you could really, you could spam reloads, but clearly that's not what I'm doing here. <laughs> Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I, I I don't drink a lot of like. I find it's not great if I drink a lot of dairy. Can I can I just declare war right now? Um, I need to put this here. And catapult. This will be fine. Slave. Uh, defend. Oh, I need some way of cleaning up this. Okay, it'll have to wait. Yeah, New Zealand does have some good farmland and stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if very high quality... Uh, Food stuffs came came from New Zealand. Will they attack my worker mining the iron? Yeah, generally they attack unguarded workers. Uh, I presume I'd, I'd either guard it or, or kill it. Okay, so this is this is the one I was worried about, and this is pretty easy to kill. Okay, let's start the war now. They just make this too easy, don't they? Uh, so I do have good odds of getting a, an MGL since I'm militaristic. So I'm, I'm going to try for that. Hmm. Not to the point of like desperately holding on to my archers though. Okay, great. Good RNG. Let's send this down here. Oh my god, he hit size 7, that f bastard. You know what? I need pikes. Okay, I, I might have waited too long. Okay, let's make sure everybody else in the, in the galaxy is at war with the Mayans right now. So crucially, I don't even have contact with everybody. I can't even... I don't have writing! Okay, I guess this is just a, a war... <laughs> Oh my god. Teach me to do math. I mean, doing math kind of paid off in a way, because... This is fucking garbage, yeah. I'm not going to be able to do shit here. Oh, this would be... Do we want to risk it? This would be painful. Yeah, this is just like 100% what you should not do in this game. 
but it seems he's only got a few pikes, so I think I'm gonna... Oh, that wasn't too bad. Oh, Jesus, fuck me. Oh. I'm actually gonna reload that and not be a, a, a tool. Yeah, I just got flawless RNG, I get, yes, yeah. So this way we get the worker um, and we grab a settler. Okay, and we'll just plant it here or something. That's, that's pretty tolerable. Maybe here. And we'll do here. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Nice and safe. Uh, so we're weakening him substantially. If we get two hits, nice. Should be fine. Yeah, I, I guess he didn't have that much in there. Like, he... He only had two spears, and he just upgraded them, uh, and that was all he had. Uh, I think you, I heard you talking about this earlier. I thought you would be interested in seeing you playing a game on the vanilla version of Civ 3 on my channel. Yeah, do you guys want to set that up for next week as my stream, or should it be like a full game playthrough? What do you guys think? I'd be open to either. Uh, although I'm probably not going to... If you want to see it soon, it should probably be a stream because I don't want to do uh, a full game. I, I did a full game playthrough recently and I don't want to do another one too soon. Don't, don't joke about that kind of stuff. Uh, C3SN Jovka. We're going to pretend that they're pineapple on pizza. He actually doesn't have a lot of high offense units here. So even though I, I'm most, I, I have low defense units, this should be enough. Okay. Um, there's got to be a city here. I think this would be just like a, a good one to just nab. Uh, God, clearly I, I should, I should actually make peace as soon as possible here again, because I've nobody, I'm not, I'd have no military alliances here. Uh, I'm not committed and I haven't paid anything to get people involved. And the longer I'm at war, the more risk they have of dragging Japan at war with me, which is basically game over. Uh, I guess unless I can, if I get the, the peace treaty right after that, it should be probably fine. But yeah. Ah, we'll do this. Yeah, just a couple, couple swords in there, and take the workers. Because we're gonna need this road to to move on to the city. We're kind of looking for the. We don't know where their capital is, but we'll have to find it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like it is an ongoing situation, and there are like a surprising amount of people who are like denialist or tacitly okay with it so because i think that's the crucial thing it's like um our social attitudes part of the problem and i think in this case it's hard to say i'm not chinese i don't know too much about china but i think to a certain extent it, they are or at least if people were like as appropriately outraged uh, i think china would be at least they would be more low-key with what they're doing they'd be trying to hide it a lot a lot more and they'd have to reduce the scale as a result so because i feel that social attitudes are responsible for things being as bad as they are uh social attitudes are influenced by humor yeah but with things like joking about killing killing the um 
the Babylonians is the Persians or, or something like that. It's like there aren't any Babylonian people existing in the world today, so I don't feel bad making that joke. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do I play anything else on this channel? So I've been thinking about moving to... There's a new game coming out. It's kind of like influenced by Heroes 3 and that type of like adventure, fantasy, turn-based strategy type game. It's called Songs of Conquest. It's not out though yet. Uh, I believe I played like one stream of Civ 5 on this channel and that's that's it. Um, I'm, I'm pretty... I mean, Civ 3 is just my game. So. Hmm. Uh, what do we got here? We got swayed about Toulouse's capital. Oh, oh, wait, hold up. I can... No, I can't even attack into that because of the river. Uh, I can bait him, though, maybe. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay, I can bait him. <laughs> uh, so, let's see how it is. So, 10 defense... 10% defense bonus from grassland, 50% from being a city, 25% from being fortified. So that's 85%. Um, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm actually, and I'm, I'm veteran. I'm actually probably favored to win both of these combats if he attacks. Uh, we'll turn on animate battles so we can see the suspense. Uh, but I, I think he will take the bait with the worker. We'll, we'll give him double bait, I guess. Okay, if, if I, the city flips now, I'm pretty fucked. Because I'd, I'd lose a substantial stack and he'd have a bunch of units on my doorstep still. So specifically, on, like in the Discord, I'm more moderating about that. But specifically on stream, I don't mind too much. Because it's easy to stop the discussion from getting out of hand on stream. Because you hold the microphone, right? Uh, we were having a lot of issues with people flaming nonstop, and as a moderator, there's not a lot you can do except ban the discussion, uh, ban, ban politics entirely. Because if you start picking the, like whose politics are unacceptable and whose are, then you piss people off. Even if you're right, like even if you're just like calling out people with shitty authoritarian or, uh, yeah, it there there gets to be a lot of whining and it's just just unmanageable. So on, on the Discord, we there's a, a blanket rule against politics. Uh, on stream, eh, it's not. Uh, I don't. I don't. I, I try to be measured in how I talk about politics. And if you think that I'm not measured, if you think I'm like clearly biased or I have an agenda, or my agenda is bad, I guess well, you can you can let me know, and I'd be open to that kind of criticism. Because uh, even though I, I like talking about those, some of those issues, but I don't want to talk about it in a way that makes at least a significant amount of people uncomfortable. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, he, he took the bait. Uh, he just straight disbanded my worker as well. Okay, um, <laughs> Maybe he baited me. A lot of these guys moved away. Yeah. He's got engineering now, so I need to remember he can take this road. Oh, God. Getting the, this temple out will be such a godsend. How close am I? I got two shields per turn. That's pretty good. I might be able to great leader farm. Yeah. The beauty of cows is actually a political issue, which is strictly forbidden from being discussed on this channel. <laughs> Oof. Ah. ah. Good old Red Mayans. He's just sending spearmen at this point. 
actually probably prefer if he spent sent archers. I'd be easier to be able to, easier to clean that up. But no luck. So there's oh f what the fuck? Oh my god. I just hit enter. Well, I'm not redoing that turn, and I got decent RNG, so I think we'll live. Hmm. Well, he really attacked into that. Nice, I survived. Ah, fighting the Dutch. The Dutch are my brothers. They got my back. So close. Oh, so close. All he can do is dream, though. Let's uh, snipe this guy while we have the chance. Bam. Oh, crap. Do you think his capital's near? I can't remember. Well, his capital's not here, so yeah, it must be here or here. So this is this is good progress I've made. Uh, I just have to be careful not to lose the city. Oh my god, I actually know how to do this. Uh, this is obnoxious, but <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. Um, I need five workers. Yeah, I joined five workers to Macau, and it should be fine. Uh, I think I should probably start disbanding. This is almost... Oh, God, I can just count the shields. What am I doing? Uh, so 60 shields, 6 by, by 10, it must be. So we have 50... Oh, oh yeah, we're only missing two shields. So we can just disband whatever, I guess. We'll do the catapult. And what the fuck? Did it... Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, ten. Oh, fuck, I, I counted wrong. So six, 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 or six, six, three. So we need one more shield. Oh my God. Okay, uh, I guess another catapult will go. Yeah, very important to get these temples out, so. Oh, wow, they'll actually talk already. Yeah, I can't be fucking around here, so if I can... If I can get writing for peace... I, I, I What, I sniped one city? If I'm getting, like, one city and then... A peace deal with a tech, I, I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, I can also embassy the mines to figure out where Chichen Itza is. Nice. Okay. Maybe that will help. Okay, I can get writing. That's the important thing. If he has engineering, he's actually going to get muskets soon if I'm not careful. So. Okay, we'll grab writing. Let's let's do this. Oh, these these are just the cities I can see. Okay. Hmm. Um, so we have an option here, right? We can get a rite of passage with him and then screw him over with the rite of passage. And I think that's the best idea. So the great library is right here. So I'm, I'm not too scared about the tech situation. Um, I guess I'd better start to stack in catapults, though. Ah, oh, fuck off. Yeah, I, I just need a lot of catapults. Uh, 
do we need do we need another settler how's our unit support situation oh we're over unit support cap so we should just straight up plant another city um let's park it right here i guess this looks like nice and safe uh, or maybe here. This would probably. Uh, will that flip? We need to find somewhere that won't flip, but also somewhere that's not too close to our capital because that would make our core cities less productive. I think something like this is probably the most sensible. Sure. Oh God, this game just keeps on setting me the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> Looks like we're moving forward. Um. Hmm. Oh, it starts fucking starving. I made a mistake here. We need to finish the irrigation first. Unbelievable. We have two food in the bank. I think yeah, I think this works out okay. Uh, we will need some workers though. Yeah, we just need a lot of catapults and a lot of. A lot of swordsmen. Okay, yeah, that's just, that's barely okay. <laughs> uh, we're not going to keep our stack in the city just in case. It, it's not a Mayan city, so it's not super likely to flip, but it is pretty likely to flip. Um, can we fit another city? I think something like like this might be sensible. How bad is the teching situation? They're in the medieval era and I'm stuck on this. I have most of the things that I need though. I can't think of anything I need that I don't have. I have, have ironwork and I have math uh, and I have writing for embassies. So we're in good shape, I feel. Uh, let's actually, yeah, we'll, we'll play it, but we'll play it risky. Portuguese city of Macau there. What do you mean for the... Why the Portuguese specific... You mean the Mayans? They don't just wander into empty cities on your border. The bigger the bigger risk is the culture flip. Uh, and that's what I'm... Well, that's why I have no units there. Is Chinese in game? Oh yeah, I didn't. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, it's Chinese now, <laughs> basically. Um, and it must have been histor historically that I mean, there might not have been like a built-up area there. So, but but yeah, it's an interesting choice. Oh my 
God, he got the tier three border expand. Uh, that maniac. Okay, he has Shiv now. I can deal with, like, with what, with what I have, I can deal with knights, though. There's no reason I, I, I couldn't, fundamentally. Who the fuck is Germany? It doesn't, I, I can't tech trade, so there's no super big incentive for me to meet these civs. Still a bit of a mystery, though. Okay, here's on young. Not even entirely convinced that I actually need this extra. Uh, I think I do, yeah. So it's going here then? This is a nice defensive spot. I, I, I'm just really scared of it culture flipping. So, At least if this one culture flips, we can just retake pretty simply. Who's in the northwest with a city surrounded by borders in your city? This is the Dutch, and this is the, the Mayans. There's a bit of border gore here, but at least I'm contiguous, which is a godsend. I should... should I be teching? Okay, so more gold in my pocket. That's good to have. I guess we're planting both of these cities. Ish. What the fuck? Okay, I guess next turn we get the temple. This is taking all too long. At this rate, we might have... Okay. We could save two workers by waiting ten, another ten turns, but... Yeah, this is so dicey. I, I messed up these worker moves really badly. I, I just needed, like, five irrigation. I couldn't do that. I think the swordsmen are more important. Okay, here we are. Join slave. These people are not going to be happy about that, but I can kind of fix it. Yeah, that should be fine. Engineering would be so, it'd give me so much more flexibility with my worker moves, which are really being constrained here, you can tell. Okay, let's let's get this war done. Before the other civs are they still at war? I'm at peace with everybody. 
They're still at war with Japan. That's the the scary, the big scary one we want. So um, we actually call up the mines and we make the. I wonder how far into the tech tree they are. No, that's not actually too bad. I, I thought I might have to pay a lot more than that. I mean, a, a few hundred maybe, but. Okay, so this is the doom stack. Uh, I think we can wait and make this a bit bigger. Archers aren't, like veteran archers, I think the veteran archers would be better used at home, to be honest. So we'll keep two of them in reserve. And more catapults are always good. Because catapults, if they, they don't promote, they don't die, and they don't get, they don't give promotions up. Like if the archer averages like one damage, then that's basically a promotion, so the, the effect is pretty neutral and potentially even negative. Canton's looking juicy. Uh, if I get to the next, yeah, it'd be pretty easy to get a temple when I get to the next size. That's good. And no, absolutely not. In fact, I've got quite the opposite idea in mind. Oh, it's, it, Japan just embassied me. Uh, I'm not going to act, I'm, I don't actually need to ally Japan because, um... Ooh, lots of stuff here. Okay, yeah, this is a, a looks like a good window then. Yeah, so uh, Japan's already at war, but if they in case they make peace or or whatever, it's good to have the embassy. I can see their cap. Wow, their cap is so close to the Mayan cap. Jeez, I need to figure out how I'm going to hold the city. <laughs> uh, okay, two turns. That's not so bad. Does violating ROP only prevent you from being able to sign more ROP? Um, it's both, I think, actually, because it counts as a 20-turn trade deal. Um, but also, it, it ruins your ROP rep. The thing is, if the other civs are at war with the civ whose trade reputation you ruined yourself with, they don't care. As long as they're at war with the mines. I think maybe when the mines are dead, they might also not care. Okay, so here's the doom stack. These guys can just chill. He's my reserve. And you're going here. And you're still fighting, so probably spent in terms of units on this front. Uh, we got the border expanded too, just like we want. Japan and Portugal, okay, that's, that's workable. And that's Japan, okay, that's good, actually. So they can focus on the Mayans more, ha 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 ha. Oh, I could put a city here, that's actually probably sound for unit support. So we have that alliance. Let's just walk right in. Just walk. 
I don't know. Dude. I don't know if this is going to be enough, but we'll see. Oh my god. Yeah, my cities are growing and in despotism you So in Republic, if your cities are not corrupt, they can pretty much grow indefinitely with like a twenty or thirty percent luxury slider and always be okay. But that's not the case in despotism. Jesus. I'm actually getting cock blocked in his land. Okay, or we have to Put this off for a turn. Okay, this is it. We're in position, guys. Why did that consume all my move? Oh, yeah. Why did I consume all my movement points? I don't. I don't get it. Okay, we got the border expand here. That's really nice. Uh, and by the way, we're going to be doing a multiplayer game after the stream today. Uh, just like like we normally do. Those games have been pretty successful, actually. Uh, does anyone have any opinions as to what mod we should play for the new player game today? Uh, I did make like a new uh, tech guide for, for modern that I wanted to show off a bit. And that people could use as a quick reference, but we could always do MPT or something else. Yeah, uh, we, we gave up on that Dutch game. It was, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Uh, this game is halfway between Deity and, and Sid, so it's still really, really hard, but I feel it's like more approachable with the tools I have on the table. Okay, so this is it, I guess. Wait, so we actually just declare war flat out, right? Oh, God, I wish I brought more catapults. This is going to be slow. Hey, there it is. Nice. Yeah, if we can get them down to just three health, that'd be pretty good. I think he had about eight in there, maybe. Oh, nice. Okay. Sweet. And one more. Okay. So we'll just plow with the swordsman, I guess. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, this one's definitely flipping. <laughs> Oh, we got the pyramids too. Oh, that's beautiful. And okay, that doesn't work. But wait, if we just mop this up, then we could. This is. It's feasible to hold on to this. Mm. Oh fuck. Um. So fortify the elite spearmen. Everything else should get in the city, though, just to put down as much resistance as possible. Turn one. Wow, it looks like he's been slaving. Palenque's down to size 5. Uh, so that's actually a lot more feasible to take. Yeah, he can't really... It's just Japan here on this front, so he could come from this direction. Oh, he could actually horse over. Yeesh, oh yeah, that's, uh, that's bad. We'll keep the, the catapult outside of the city. Yeah, my, my unit position here is not the best for the, the start of the war. I really hope he doesn't have horses. <laughs> Got the border expand here. That's nice. 
They have ancient calves to... I, I get one turn free, so I'm, I'm getting... I'm more worried about these cities over here. I, I really just want the techs, right? What's your power ranking of, of, of what, of, of civs now? China's good. They're, they're good at what they're doing right here, you see. Now, the thing is, if I actually, oh crap. If I don't get education right now, I actually want to give him the city back. Okay, there it is. That's a lot of shit. Jesus, we got the whole fucking ear. <laughs> China's back in business, people. Okay, what do you guys think? I, I can't do Great Elevator anymore. I think I should just raise the city. Uh, yeah, raise and replant. That's a lot of tourism. Goal. Oh, I'd be giving up the fucking pyramid. No. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the luck was quite good here, but I think I did play it well. I played it. I played it patiently too. I barely put down any resistors. Okay, let's... Uh... An MGL would just be icing on the cake at this point. Oh, I joined a bunch of Chinese workers here. I'm an idiot. So the city can actually flip. I, I should be more careful about that. Oh, sorry, a bunch of Mayan, Mayan workers. Uh, the, the, the Great Library is obsolete, so I can absolutely raise the Great Library. I, I just want him to be weak so I can clean him up later, but I guess maybe if I... You know what I could just do? I could just, like, park my stack right here, right? Maybe get a fortress. Uh, and, and just constantly threaten to retake the city. Copan has... Okay, Statue of Zeus is actually obsolete, so he's not going to get anything else out of it. Uh, I think this is actually a good save file, so we'll save as China Suede Diff. And we're going to come back to this, because this game, we just blew this game wide open. So... <laughs> uh, yes, Morgan, uh, Tourism Gold actually is lost to corruption, but you do get the multipliers on the Tourism Gold, so... Tourism gold isn't such a factor. The granary in every freaking city is, though. Uh, I think if we clean up Palenque, like if just like these two cities, just these two cities even, and we get, we're in an excellent, amazing spot. Maybe this one for the wines, too. No, we could actually just plant for the wines. Um, three lux. Yeah, switch into Republic. Yeah, that'd be, that, that's fantastic if we can make it work. Okay. Yeah, so we'll, we'll say we, we saved, right? We're going to finish this next week. In the meantime, so we're going to be doing a multiplayer game in the Discord if you guys want to come along. So right here in the description, you will find a link to the Discord. It's right here. So we're doing a multiplayer game. It'll be a new player game. So you get the chance to like test your skills against people who aren't like very oppressive with how they play. And yeah, we'll figure out what mod it's going to be once the game gets started. So uh, if you guys want, I'll be in the Discord and I can give you guys coaching, like give you guys advice on how to play. Uh, if you don't want that, obviously it's optional. Uh, but it, it does give you the chance to like, it's probably the best way to improve. That's how Private Pug got. I mean, that and like really intentionally, oh, that and doing like very intentional practice in single player, I'd say. And just playing games, of course, but the coaching does help a lot. So difficulty goes Deity Suede Sid, and then not sad. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed the stream, and I'll see you guys next time.